Ooh. All right, guys. Let's jump into your reading collective. I was a little tired yesterday. I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay. Um, I don't know why I was so tired. It's probably not a good idea to eat carbs right before you do do a reading. <laughs> it's like my whole day was messed up after that. I was like, oh shit, why'd I do that? <laughs> all right, let's jump into your reading, you guys. I hope you're all doing well. Let's see, let me move this up a little bit. Oh. Okay, let's go. This is a general reading. Hope you guys are all doing well. I can't, I can't stress that enough. So we have, wow, did you see how that just flipped over? See, the Queen of Cups in reverse. So you have an emotionally manipulative person coming towards you. Wow, okay, so they want me to take that one. Yeah, this person is losing a lot. I feel like as soon as they get something, they lose it. I don't know if that's their karma or what, but I feel like someone, yeah, it could be, um, yeah, the way they're seeing you is the death card, okay? So you're you're going through you're having a very trans you're you're going through a very transformative time you're ha you're experiencing a very transformative um, life right now like your life is just I feel like in every area of your life transforming 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 this person has animosity towards you and your transformation um, man do you see the difference between today and yesterday all because I ate carbs <laughs> they made me tired I was like oh I gotta take a nap I gotta take a nap and I just woke up I was like dude. What the fuck? I just woke up, you know? It's ridiculous. Never again. Never again. Bad decisions. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this person has a gambling addiction. They're very emotionally unstable. Um, but they can't, they seem to think that you have it all. Yeah, the way they feel about you is the Ten of Cups, Five of Swords. So wow, I feel like this they want something you have. Okay, so the Five of Swords talks about animosity, right? The Ten of Cups talks about wish fulfillment, especially when it pertains to love. This, this could be a bitter ex-lover. How they see you is the high priestess in reverse. Okay, so you're really, really, really focus on, focusing on your beauty right now. You could be, um, I know this is Pisces in Scorpio. You're very intuitive, collective. You're very intuitive. You're very empathic. You're mystics. You're shamans. You're gurus, okay? You're, you're occult. Um, you're, you have a lot of occult knowledge. Yeah, the way you're seeing, the way they see you is the 8th house, 12th house energy. A lot of occult knowledge. Um, you're 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 sort of implementing the knowledge that you have into your your um, metaphysical business. This could be metaphysical. Me, me, I can't talk. Metaphysically based, or this could be something. Um, I'm hearing something about numerology, astrology, tarot. Um, pretty much everything that I'm you know this channel. Like something relating to this channel. Anything that's related to this channel. This could be about holistic healing. Others of you. Um, I see you getting into holistic healing, but someone feels like you have all the answers, and I feel like they're mad about that. They're upset about that. They're going to come in very emotionally manipulative um, because they've run out of options with the Seven of Cups mirroring this Queen of Cups, okay? The Seven of Cups is in, in the reverse. It talks about having options, being confused. <laughs> I feel like they they have uh, got it down to a science. You are the only one. That's what I'm hearing. You don't have to be dealing with a Pisces or Scorpio. You don't have to have them in your chart, but they are present here in the reading, okay? And then we have... Um, yeah, double, we have double Pisces energy with the High Priestess and the Queen of Cups. The energy of Aries is here with the King of Wands, all right? Yeah, I feel like you fi you figured something out and you're choosing, you're making, I feel like you may have even decided to collaborate with someone else. You have two threes here, okay? You have two threes in your reading. Yeah, the Three of Pentacles talks about collaboration. This could even be like social media, I'm hearing. Um, the Three of Wands is in the reverse. So I feel like you're going to be very victorious in something, and I feel like you tried to help this person in the past, but, oh man, the animosity card is really, like, really, really getting me because why do they feel like this, but your wish fulfillment? Yeah, I feel like they're a user. This is someone who's a user. They may even have, like, a substance abuse problem because the queen of cups in the reverse. I mean, I know typically the king of cups is the alcoholic in, in the reverse, but with her glass here, I feel like this is someone who has an alcoholic, she, who's an alcoholic. They're an opportunist, Okay. In the reverse, they're emotionally like emotionally manipulative. I won't say opportunist, but it's something about them is screaming opportunist, especially with you know the Ten of Pentacles in the obstacle position with the Princess of Wands, which is an opportunist. This person is in the obstacle position. Okay, um, this is Aries Leo Sag. Okay, this is someone typically you could trust. 
But because it's in the obstacle position, I feel like this is a dishonest person. They they they're not good with money. They are they have poor management. They have poor management skills when it comes to money. They could be a Neptune Capricorn. I'm hearing something about Capricorn Neptune. Like they could have a lot of delusions around money. Oh yeah yeah okay. Um, their chart something about their um ten, tenth house is debilitated in their chart. So. Um, I'm not really sure what that's alluding to. You guys know. You guys know your life, okay? But yeah, their chart is debilitated somewhere. They could even be like a Sagittarius North Node, I'm hearing, okay? Interesting. <laughs> okay, but the High Priestess, okay, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get you guys an Oracle message really quick, and then I'll get back to the reading. Um, I don't know why I feel called to pull an oracle message. Maybe it's because I want to tell you guys about your free personal readings, okay? Um, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Like the video, okay? Make sure you guys are liking the video because I noticed there's a lot more views than there are likes, which doesn't make sense, especially when the average view time is nine minutes. It's like, why did you watch that long if you didn't like the video? <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? That's weird, okay? So please like the video. It does. I, it's a really... It's a beautiful energy exchange, okay, for me, and um, I honestly am so grateful, all right? Let me see. I appreciate it, you guys. Make sure you like the video, okay? Let me get Oracle message, but you want to check out your free personal readings. They are down below. They are the second, third, and fourth link, okay? If you guys want to check out the merchandise, that is the first link. So we have self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Yeah. I feel like you're, um, you guys are really, really helpful. Okay. You're really helpful. I feel too, if it's, um, if you have a business that's spiritually based, you are a light worker, you're a healer. You guys are raising the vibration of a collective collective. You could be even a motivational speaker. I'm hearing life coach for a lot of you. Okay. Or you're being called to do this. Okay. You could have Leo in your chart. Um, heavy Leo. I'm hearing heavy, heavy, heavy Leo Capricorn energy. Um, I'm also hearing Aries. Okay. Yeah. Self-esteem is giving me Aries. Um, especially with this. I don't know why, like I'm getting Aries. Yeah. You could have Aries Jupiter, Aries North Node, Aries Jupiter in the 12th house or eighth house. Yeah. You're very, oh gosh, you could have a lot of dreams. Eighth house Neptune. Yeah. Your, your dreams, they're calling on you to use your dreams as well. Use your dreams. Okay. Your, use your dreams. I'm hearing use 10th house. You have two tens here. Yeah, use your dreams because why am I getting that with the Eight of Cups? I'm sorry, the Death card and the the High Priestess. Yeah, they want you to use your dreams or pay attention to your dreams, okay? Because Pisces is dreams. You have two. You have two cards here indicating something about your dreams. Um, you need to be be a be aware of them. Um, write this. I know some people think, oh, it's just a dream. No, write it down, okay? Because I feel like you're gonna get some sort of idea that's gonna lead to more ideas, okay? That it's gonna it's gonna start in your dreams, okay? Um. See, the person that's coming towards you, I feel like they're imbalanced. It kind of makes me really sad. Like, I feel like this person's imbalanced. They want to use your energy, okay? Because I feel like you're a healer. You have, the, I feel like you can, you can touch someone. I feel like your sex is healing for someone here. Like, if you have sex with somebody, they get obsessed with you. They become very obsessive. Yeah. They get jealous. What? This is so crazy. I, if you're detached and... <laughs> If you're asexual and you're detached like me, and you have sex with somebody, okay, <laughs> that person may become very obsessed with you, be just based on that, okay, just based on that alone, like something about your sex is healing. All right, um, I don't know, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. That's weird. Yeah, like the way they feel about you, man. This person's like this. They resent you. Cause you're like, I feel like you guys are moving on or something. I don't really get that, like too much energy surrounding you. Just more so with the person that's coming in, you know, how you're being seen is this, this death card. Okay. Transformative. Like you transform people. Yeah. This is how you're being seen is someone who triggers people. You may trigger this person. You may, oh, wow. Um, this talks about rising from the ashes, right? Transforming. This is a mystic. This is someone who you may even be a night owl. You may be, you may be um, someone who works at night. Or you stay up really late and you you just get a lot of ideas. Um, you you have a lot of visions or something at nighttime. Okay, that's when your ideas come to you. But or something about what you do at night is very transformative. Okay, whether this be like physically or um, sexually, I don't know. I'm hearing this person. 
they know like something about you. So they know something about you, like your secrets or something. And they're kind of like, they're kind of mad. I don't know. They're, they're mad about it. That this is, this is someone who's not happy for you. I don't like this. But it's strange because they feel like you're their, what they want. See, they're not, they're not going to get over this. Whatever this is, they, they're jealous. This is a jealous lover, you guys. Okay. For some of you, um, I do get that it could be an Aries Pisces dynamic. Okay. Cause it's so crazy. Um, they could have been born in a leap year. They don't have to. I think this year is a leap year. Are your, is your birthday coming up? Were you born in a leap year? Or was this person born in a leap year? I don't know. I'm hearing this is a leap year. Okay. So first of all, you're going to, a lot of people are going to come out of nowhere, um, asking for help, asking for you to get, take them back. Um, but they're very manipulative. You can't trust these people. Um, it is because they're lacking. It is because they need help. It, they might even be on the urge of like homelessness because they have a gambling addiction. I don't see like necessarily that, but it's, it's sort of like the path that they're leading. Okay. I can't help but notice it especially with the three of wands. The three of wands in reverse talks about ships coming in, but it's in the reverse. So it's like nothing is coming in. They have no money, nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah, it's mirroring the 10 of pentacles in the obstacle position. So it's directly across from it. So like, I feel like this, oh, wow. Are you happy about this? Oh God. I'm not gonna say you ought to be ashamed of yourself, but I feel like you guys are laughing about this shit. So I was like, good, they deserve it. They were jealous of me. Okay, they might have been jealous of you. Um, it's interesting because this is a lover. For someone, for a lot of you, this is a lover. This is someone who you have been together with. <laughs> and you have had relations, okay? <laughs> yeah, I feel like you're like pissed about this. Like you're mad about this person coming towards you. You're not happy about it. And I generally feel like you have the right to feel this way. But damn, you're cold. I feel like someone's really cold. Like, good, I hope they are homeless. Like, what's wrong with you guys? You guys are so mean. Oh, man, that's not very nice. Okay, hold on one second. Why is that? That is, that's weird. Wow, that's so weird. Okay, so, okay. Yeah, I think, I think too, like, this is a sneaky person. They're going to come back real sneaky. So... Um, it's not like they're going to come right out the gate like, hey, um, I need your help. No, they're going to be really nice. I feel like they might even offer you something. Okay. Yeah. They might even say, hey, um, do you want to come over for a glass of wine? <laughs> if this is a man, okay, that's like his go-to girl. <laughs> he knows what you like. Okay. If he knows what you like, oh, trust and believe. He's already using it. He's already using it to his advantage. He's like, I know what they want. That's all I need to know. I know your tricks, boy. Is, a, is this a Pisces man? <laughs> I cannot be bought. You cannot be bought, collective. All right? I feel like you cannot be bought. This person might even be trying to lure you. They're trying to lure you away from somebody. I feel like for some of you, they could be trying to lure you away from someone that you're in love with. Wow. Are you in love? <laughs> Are you in love, darling? Are you in love? <laughs> so British. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, it's so strange. You guys are opposites? Others of you, you could be opposites with this person. Um, like you have a lot of love, they have a lot of money or you, you know, vice versa. Something about you have things that are tangible. They have things that are spiritual or someone is more spiritually gifted. The other one's more. Um, yeah, you guys get what I'm saying. Someone is more earthy. Tangible things. They have a lot of tangible things. Oh, someone could be trying to combine forces with you, but this is manipulational. You guys, I'm going to say this because I feel like. You could collaborate with this person. Yeah, if the three of pentacles is showing you could you could end up working with them, but you need to understand something. I feel like no matter what you choose, you're, you're always going to be protected. Even if you choose to work with this person, like, you know, they're manipulative. You know how they say, um, keep your enemies close or keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. You are being seen as the death card and this is hidden enemies. So you, this may be you, like you may be trying to transform this person. You may be attracting them purposely to heal them, to transform them. See, if you got Scorpio in your chart, 
I don't know how readers miss this, but Scorpios are really good at transforming, turning their enemies into allies. I've seen it. I've seen them do it. Do it many times. I've seen them do it. I've, I've been. I've. I've witnessed it. I've seen it with my own eyes. <laughs> they turn their own enemies into allies. Yes, they do. Especially if they have, like they have Libra exalted. Libra is a house of partnerships. Also justice. Also being fair. Um, finding common ground. Right. Balance. Divine feminine energy. Masculine energy. And these two are directly opposite from each other. So like the energy, you have the Queen of Cups and then you have the, you have fire. So this could be a water fire dynamic. You could be a, a, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Leo, Aries, Sag. Okay? Or this is the person you're dealing with. But they want to combine forces with you. I feel like you already know what's up. You're like, man, I, I, know, I know exactly how to deal with you. If you have Scorpio, if you are a Scorpio, <laughs> you already know how to come to this person. You already know how to act with this person. Like you already know how to act and receive them. Um, I feel like too, if you're merciful, you know, if you're a merciful person, if you have the merci merciful type, if you're the merciful type, okay, um, I am the merciful type. I will forgive you. Um, I don't think this person betrayed you, but I do feel like they are evil eyeing you. Okay. Cause why does it look like that? This kind of looks like an eye, but yeah, like the animosity card, animosity is evil eye. That's what it is. Animosity. What does it mean? What does it mean? Jealousy? Envy? What does it mean? It's in the position of how they feel about you. They are jealous. So maybe if you're already aware of this, you may be trying to heal this part of them. Yeah, because this is their inner child. That's, that's so childish, right? People who are jealous, they want something that you have. I feel like you know how to heal this person. You're forgiving, you're loving, you're nurturing, okay? I, need, I, I feel like I need to tell you this collective to um, tread lightly and act with care because if this person is um, jealous, all right, um, it's, not, it's not healthy. It's not, it's not safe. I don't know how, how dangerous it is, but I, I just feel like you don't want to play with that energy because it can turn bad really quick, okay? Yeah, you have a lot somebody wants, okay? You have a lot something you have a lot of something that they want. Maybe they are rich and they want what your spiritual gifts. Maybe they are spiritual and maybe they want your finances. I don't know. There's something that both of you... See, I feel like if you come together, you can really, really complement each other. I feel like you guys can work things out. I feel like you guys can work together. If this isn't romantically based... I feel like if this is a friend, you guys can really help each other. But this person, their jealousy gets in the way. <laughs> Been there. I've had, I've had plenty of friends who try to hurt me, you know, based on, like, dude, what the fuck? I don't know. I don't see, I don't see anyone call it causing any pain here. But jealousy, that's, that's sort of the, uh, that's the catalyst for causing pain. You know, it's, it's kind of like, you know, watch your back. It's letting you know, especially with the hidden enemies card. Yeah. The thing about this death card, too, is you can't kill death. This is how you're being seen. Someone, if they wanted to, they couldn't. Like, even if they wanted to, like, destroy you, even if they wanted to sabotage you, they couldn't. They can have all the animosity they want. So they have no choice to work with you, but to work with you. Yeah, they want to collaborate with you. But I feel like you need to understand something. Like, the only reason they're doing it is because they don't have a choice. But if it was up to them, they would have probably took you out. But they can't kill death. You see, I heard that on the card a long time ago. Can't kill death. Okay. Yeah, you can't kill that. Can't kill that, baby. All right. Um <clears throat> Also, you're being seen as a ship shifter. Shift ship shifter. A shape shifter. <laughs> An alchemist, okay? I don't know why, girl. Get you in tip-top ship ship shape, ship shape. <laughs> My dad used to say that, ship shape. Shape up. I don't know. Someone sees you as a shapeshifter, okay? I don't know why. I got tongue-tied. <laughs> You're an alchemist. You're an alchemist, you guys. Let's check out the alchemist swimsuit. I don't mean to self-promote, but you guys, I work so hard, okay? Check out my merchandise over there. Check out all the alchemists, um, the alchemist collection if you guys want to check it out. But yeah, you're an alchemist. That's the first link, you guys, okay? Yeah, baby. Alchemist. What is an alchemist? Someone who transmutes. Someone who transmutes negative forces into positive forces. Transmutes negative energy into positive energy. You transmute people. You transmute, you transmute their negative intentions. You transmute them. You change them. You see the difference between today and yesterday? My God, I'm never eating that shit again. <laughs> I am not myself. I'm like, um, you guys. <laughs> was I was I like falling asleep? Yeah. Fucking middle of the reading, like, um, 
Yeah, I don't know what I'm looking at here. <laughs> I'm so tired. That's, that just goes to show it's bad for your third eye. Don't eat the carbs. Stay away from the carbs, the, he the heavy foods. Oh, my God. Stay away from that white shit. <laughs> That's why I learned a long time ago. Just if you need if you need help figuring out what's good for you and what's not good for you, just stay away from all the white shit. <laughs> Fried foods, okay? The flour, okay? Stay away from all that shit because it's not good for you. <laughs> I know why now. I get it. Oh my god, I felt so heavy and tired yesterday. I went right back to sleep. I literally woke up and ate that and then went right back to bed. <laughs> what's wrong with me? All right, yeah. How you're being seen um, is the transformation card, okay? With the high priestess. I feel like you're really focused on your vanity right now. You're really focused on your beauty. You know, the high priestess is in the reverse. She's kind of like focusing on the 3D right now. Okay, yeah. She's 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 sort of like, yeah, I know, I, I know I'm spiritual. I know that I'm gifted, but right now I want to look good. Okay, you might be going to get your nails done, your hair done right now. Yeah, you're working on your outer appearance. Someone is like really, really focused on that. And that's another thing. Oh my God, if you're really, really attractive, I don't care if you're a man or a woman. So, women can be jealous of men too. I've seen it. I've seen it, girl. I've seen it. I've seen it. <laughs> She's like, where do you think you're going? <laughs> She's like, um, I'm going out with my boys. Like, what? Oh, oh, really? Is that right? <laughs> no, you're not. No, you're not. You go sit your ass right here. <laughs> Jealous like a mother. You turn on that game. You guys, you guys hear the game turn on? You know, I don't have to worry about that. I never had to worry about that. I've never been with a man who was obsessed with playing Xbox all day. Okay, I've never been with a man like that. But I hear about it. I've heard about y'all. <laughs> y'all are like the unicorns I've never been with. Y'all are like the white whales. I have never been with one of you guys. But yeah, that's so funny. Like I hear about you guys, and as soon as they, as soon as they hear that, boom, <laughs> they're like, their antennas are up. Like I, I ain't never heard of a woman being jealous of a game. Like damn. Yeah, there's somebody jealous of that. I don't know. That's for one guy. There's not a lot of white, uh, not a lot of men watching. But yeah. <laughs> girl okay like for the women because there's it's like 99 percent of you guys here um this is a friend for somebody here this is a friend friend of yours okay they could be a water sign if you're a fire sign if you're a fire sign they're a water sign okay if you're an earth sign they're probably an air sign <laughs> if you're an air sign they're probably an earth sign or whatever vice versa you flip it around how it fits okay um definitely the opposite from you okay but i feel like you complement each other all right you may also repel each other which is kind of like it's kind of karmic, you know, like you're supposed to try to fix it. You're supposed to solve this problem. You're supposed to act like adults and work it out. But I feel like it's not really, I don't want to say, I don't want to take sides, but it's not like you. Um, and I don't see it like you're the problem. I feel like this is how they feel. You know, these are their feelings. Animosity. Yeah. I should start pulling extras and seeing how the collective feels about this person. But I don't know if I want to do that yet. It's a lot of reading, you know, I'm not ready for that yet. All right, I might get one more Oracle card from my other deck. Hold on one second. Just because I was so tired yesterday. I'm so sorry, you guys. <laughs> Don't be mad at me. Don't be mad, okay? All right, yeah, I think I'm going to get one of these. One of those. Let's get one of these babies. Yeah, this is an emotionally manipulative person. They could really, I hear like, they, I, I'm hearing too, this person bursts out in tears to make you feel bad for them, be, for their behavior. If they've ever like shown their ass and they know like you're onto them, they burst out in tears, like randomly, like out of nowhere. Yeah, they cry. This is, I'm not saying that they're not an empath or, you know, you could be an empath and still be emotionally manipulative. I feel like this person is just really good at, you know, I don't know, getting, wiggling themselves out of how they're being perceived. You know, they, they have a lot of animosity towards you. And they, I feel like they're trying to hide it, you know, with this opportunity they're coming in with. They could be um, trying to use this opportunity as a means to hide it or sort of shove it in the, shove it down, you know. Like, hey, we're friends, right? We could work together, right? Low key, they're just mad as hell. Like, <laughs> They're just mad as hell that they even have to come and ask you, like, hey, can we collaborate? Like, they want to make it seem, too. I feel like this person's going to try to make it seem like it would be beneficial for you to work with them, even though it's really beneficial for them. Like, they're going to make it seem like you're missing out on something. I feel like they're going to, like, try to, like, instill fear in you, like FOMO, okay? 
So we have nothing will come of this situation. Interesting. Void course of moon. All right. Interesting. Okay. So we have self-esteem. All right. And then we have nothing will come of the situation. Interesting. That's so interesting. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. This high priestess is in her self-love phase. She's in the reverse. She's really focusing on herself. Okay. She's really focusing on her outer appearance. She's really like pampering herself at this time. This is how you're being seen. Um, maybe that's why they're coming towards you. Um, but maybe, yeah, maybe you really, you realize nothing is going to come up in the situation. And maybe you have walked away. I don't, I don't get that you guys walked away. You're sort of lingering. I feel like you're still in contact with this person. Yeah, you know who it is. You know who it is. You're still, you're still in contact with them. Um, you know who the jealous friends are. You know who they are. Okay. All right, you guys, I'm going to get out of here. Um, check out your free personal readings. They are down below. The second, third, and fourth week. Okay, and then if you guys want to check out the merchandise, whoop, whoop, it's the first link. All right, you guys, I love you guys so much. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Namaste.